Hi, welcome to Arise Works, and this is the first introductory video on how to get started with rendering with Mantra. And this one will be very, very introductory. And if you are kind of intermediate user, you don't need really to watch this. But uh, if you are just getting started and not sure even how to apply materials and whatnot, this will be definitely helpful for you because I really wanted to showcase how to get started. Uh, without skipping any um, any steps, so everyone will be feeling comfortable by the end. They uh, they will go through all the course material. So yeah, hopefully it will not be very intimidating. I I'll try to stay on topic. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello and welcome to this introduction to getting started with Mantra. And as you can see, I will be using the non-commercial version of the Houdini, which is free. So in case you were wondering, no, you don't have to buy anything before you, st you can start learning. So effectively, you can use the non-commercial version um, forever. The only difference for rendering, it will be that it can render only up to 1280 by 720 resolution. Anyway, so I'm thinking first things first, I'm going to just create um, a couple of basic geometry objects and I will show you how we can drop uh, and apply different materials to different objects, okay? Um, so, we can go to material palette right here and if you don't have it for some reason you can always click the plus icon, go to new top pane and somewhere over here there will be material palette. And um, if we click the material palette you can see that there are some shaders, materials that are already default ready and shipping with this, uh, with, uh, with the default installation of Houdini. So you can just uh, hold down the left mouse button and drag it over here. And then you can drag it in the viewport over your designated geometry. And as you can see, we now, if we now change the color, it will change the color in our viewport. So effectively what happens is that we assign the material to this object that happens to be sphere. Now, how do we know that we have done just that? So first of all, we can go out of the material context, which uh, has been switched automatically when we uh, just drag and drop our material uh, on the viewport. When you go and left click here, out of the objects, you go to the materials. So this is the first thing you have to understand. Like there are different uh, contexts, one of which being object, the other one being materials. So in materials, we are, well, basically it does what it says. We are building materials. So if we go to the objects and we, for example, select our box object and uh, in the information panel, we go to the render, you can see that it does not have material. Whereas if we uh, click on our sphere object and go to the render, you can see that the material has been assigned. It says principal shader. And as we know, if we go to back to our material subcontext, I'm sorry, context, um, it will say principal shader. It says it here, it says it's there. So basically, you know how it goes. So uh, now what I want to do is I'm holding down the Alt button. If you're on Mac, it will be Option key and dragging and dropping uh, this interface element. And uh, now it says principal shader one. So because uh, when you hold down the left mouse button and you drag and drop stuff in the nodal editor in Houdini, it creates a copy of the thing that you have just dragged and dropped. So I will rename it to red. And by the way, I will rename this one to blue. And keep in mind, uh, first of all, I will make the red to be red because otherwise it will be a bit confusing, right? Uh, as you can see, when we type here blue, it changed the name here blue as well. And in the object context, if we select our sphere, it says blue. So it automatically changes the name. No need to worry about that. Okay, and now I'm going to left click on the box object and uh, select this button. It says open the operator. 
So we can go to our material context, and I want to select the red. So as you can see, without drag and dropping, uh, there is another way of appending the material, in our case, the material red. As a final thing, uh, I want to apply a material to the grid object. Now, I will jump into the grid object. As you know, you can, uh, you can press the button I uh, to go in, U to go upwards or inside or outside, or you can just press the Enter key or double click. It will be pretty much the same. Okay, now we are looking at the grid and I'm just gonna hide every other object so we can see clearly. And uh, now I'm gonna press the tab write down material, left click and drop. Now I'm going to select the material as our active node. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. You, you can append the group that will have the material. And now I'm just, just want to create another material, but this time I'm going to make it inside the grid object. Okay. It will be not in the material context, but it will be in the object context inside the grid object element. So now I'm just going to press the tab again, uh, start writing down material network, and it will create another network that will look just like the material subcontext. So as you can see here, we have a material context, and we go back. If we go back to object, we dive inside, and we dive inside here. We can now create another principal shader. But now I'm not going to press the tab, I'm going to right click and go into the shaders and drop the principled shader and I'll call it, let's say, grid material. And by the way, if you press the space key, it will automatically make it underscore. So no need to worry about that. And just for uh, contrast, I'll make it a bit darker gray. I go out. out upwards in our grid objects and here I now can look for the material and as you can see there is our material context and this is our object context and inside the grid there is a map net that we have created and inside that there is a grid material and if we uh, if we click accept as you can see it becomes dark gray so there you go uh, this is how you can apply materials uh, in different ways to your objects and we will dive inside uh, all the things like cameras, lights and rendering and all that uh, in the next videos. So see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and if you don't want to miss more videos that are coming to our channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like what you have seen. If you have any suggestions or ideas, don't forget to leave a comment below. I'll try to read them and respond accordingly. Have a nice day and see you later.